Alright YouTube, welcome back. So I was just scrolling through Twitter and I saw this really creative UI by Nabil Place. So you guys can go ahead and give him a follow. Um, all credits go to him for this amazing UI. But uh, yeah, I was really impressed with this design. So I'm just going to show you guys how to recreate it. Once again, I'm not encouraging you guys to take ideas. I'm just showing you guys the technical steps to make something like this if you've ever i don't know came across the ui and you thought i wonder you know what tools they use to make this or that so that's really all it is is to just show the tools and steps to make uh, certain things all right so to start off i'm going to make a new layer i'm gonna take my pencil and uh it's on shape we have fill on and the stroke is turned off and we're going to start with this basic shape right here uh this one seems to go like this i would estimate probably like right here oops uh, it seems like i have to zoom out but if we click and drag this we can curve it and now you want to hold alt and click on the square let me go on this side hold alt click right here and this seems to go up here Perfect, and I'll lower the opacity. Can't really see. Okay, this just goes across, I guess. All right, so we have the first um, shape done. If you double click, we can also select this color. Uh, this is really hard to tell, but eh, it's fine. Let's make a new layer. This will go under. Let's take our pencil and I'm going to I'm going to path instead. I'm just going to go ahead and make this one. Have to zoom out again, but if we go right here go for this one, and then we just go up here again, and then we just go across and just click on shape. And with this one. Let's double click and select on this bottom color. Actually, let's go for the E top color. Alright, that's good. Okay, so. Alright, with this, uh, let's make a new layer. Right click and hit mask, like so. Take your pencil. Let's go for. Hmm. Let's go for shape. We're gonna just gonna make some stuff like this inside the first page. Double click and select on this little color. Uh, this kind of tapers off, so use your eraser tool. I'm just trying to get it as accurate as possible. I can't really see everything because of the buttons, but it's okay. New layer. Let's right click and hit mask again. Take your pencil. And we're just gonna make some more shapes. Now we don't have to make this exactly the same, so let's go for this color. A bit lighter, a bit lighter actually. Let's place it right here. Eraser tool, and and we're just going to fade this off as well. I'm also gonna fade this off, like so. Okay, so looks good to me. Uh, there's some circles and some lines here, so. What we could do is we could take our pencil, new layer, right click, and I hit mask. Again, let's go to fill, turn this off, let's go to stroke, and turn this on. Uh, size 5, go up top, down, straight, as you can see, and we'll and place one right here, right click, and hit mask. We can lower the opacity to 35, possibly. Right, and you can also change this to caps sharp like that. All right, looks good to me. There's one more here, so new layer. Let's hit mask and let's go up here. Go down. Eraser. Let's fight this off. Okay, so there's some circles, so ellipse tool, new layer. We're also going to mask. And just make some 
dots right here. Boom. And one right here. Okay, so we'll take these and lower the opacity to like 20. 35. Right, so the first page is done, and right here there's a line on the second page. Um, for this one, let's make a new layer. Let's right click and hit mask. I'll take my brush to the sun, opacity all the way up. I'm going to select this color, hold it alt, select. I'm just gonna paint the bottom like that. Perfect. Uh, it looks good to me. <laughs> and we can take this effect, hold alt, drag this down. Right click, and mask. Yep. Okay, now we got this copy, move this down. And then we also have this little line, which I'm also going to copy, and right click, mask. Let's go right here. Alright, so we have the basic frames complete, and now let's make the button. So I'm going to, oh shift, click, and group this up, one, and two. Let's make a new layer. Let's take our pencil and go on path. And then I'm just going to trace this little button right here. These buttons are the same, so we only have to make this once. Uh, this goes like something like that, I guess. Let's go up and let's hit shape. And let's go fill. Hit this little button. Let's go stroke off. And now, let's go right here, right click and hit, and hit blending options. We're going to go for a gradient overlay, angle 90. And let's take this little color picker, we go for this blue. And for the top color, we're going to go for this little white. Anyways, let's go right click and hit brush rise there so. And now let's take our rectangle tool, let's make a new layer. Let's go for fill black and stroke off now let's make a rectangle and just hold alt and shift drag this down control t and we're going to make this one thin i'm just going to copy this make this one a bit thicker please zoom in and just ha and just uh, have some variation i guess this one will be like that, and right here. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, hold shift, click, and control E. Move it down, right click, and hit mask. And control T to kind of rotate as well. And with this one, we can select the color. And as you can see, this is what we have. Looks pretty good to me. And let's add some text, so start. I don't think I have a similar font. Alright, so the basic stuff is done. Um, Alright, so the main frame is complete, as you can see. Alright, let's go pencil, let's go for shape, fill off, and stroke on. Let's go click, click on here, curve this around. Alright, and that is basically it. Um, let's take this little background. Let's fill this color up. Healer, use your brush tool, paint a little vignettes. Or I should just use the gradient tool. Let's go for like this right here. Boom. And yeah, that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if this helps you, make sure to leave a like. Once again, all credits go to Nabil Plays. So go ahead and give him a follow. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.